and welcome back to my weekly feature here at Honeybee Stamps. My name's Alexandra and I normally blog over at Hedgehog Hello. It's great to see you back here again for another idea to use your Zen floral stamps. Today we're going to be using them on an alcohol inked background. We're going to be stamping on vellum and then using this lovely sentiment just to offset our card. So let's get started. So our first step is to create our alcohol ink background. I have a piece here of Yupo or Yupo paper. It's a synthetic paper that's perfect for alcohol inks. Now, I'm not going to take this down, I just have it on my gesso board, which always gets inky and fun, and I can clean it off if I want to, uh, but I tend to just leave these marks on here um, and just keep going. So I've got a few different colours of alcohol ink. I've got some sailboat blue, I've got some sunshine yellow, some limeade, some flamingo, uh, sunset orange, and some pearl. Now, um, we may use all these colours, we may not, but I've got a nice selection out so that we can use our Zen flowers over the top and this will be a lovely background. Now I'm going to start with the yellow. You want to try and start with the lightest colour and then work your way up from there. So just a few dots, a little bit will go a very long way. This is the alcohol ink blending tool with a piece of felt on it. It does come with felt or you can just uh, pre-cut some, which is what I tend to do and then um, stick them on. It's just about one and a half inches by one inches, I think, something like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit all over. Now I'm gonna go in with my pink and we're just gonna keep adding our colors. covered all over my Yapo or Yupo paper. You can see some really lovely bleeds and you saw I didn't always add just spots. You can add lines, you can add squiggles like I did when I went back in with some pink. There's lots of different options. Now if I wasn't happy with this, due to the nature of Yupo paper, I could take some kitchen towel with alcohol blending solution and I could wipe all of this off and start again. This wouldn't be a waste if I wasn't happy, but I love these rainbows. I think they're really pretty. Now one last thing I am going to do is I'm going to change out my felt piece and I'm going to add some mixatives. Now the mixatives are metallic and you'll hear that there's a ball in there shaking around and these will give it just a little bit of shimmer. Now I only want to use a tiny tiny little bit and again I'm just putting it on a clean one because I don't want to add more colour, I just want to add this mixative and what this will do is it will add some shimmer and shine. So I'm still doing that kind of turny motion, but I don't want to blend my colours too much. I'm going to pick this up so that I can see it from the side and see that shimmer. It's a very subtle shimmer. There's also one called Snow Cap, which is a little bit more intense. So you could try that. There's gold, there's bronze, there's coppers, there's silver. So there's lots you can add, but hopefully you can start to see that come in. And I will put some pictures on my blog, hedgehoghollow.co.uk, and it will be linked in the description below this video. So hopefully the camera will pick up that lovely shimmer and you can see that here on the video. Now I'm going to just leave it like this. The other option you have, and I'll just show you what it does on one of the corners, is you can add some of this blending solution to your tool and you can blend them some more. So what it will do is it will get rid of some of these harsher areas. You can see there it's just lightening it up. So I'll just do a couple so that they doesn't look like I've just done one patch completely differently. But what it does is it just takes a little bit of colour off. You can see that the colour's in there and you could blend out some of those harsher lines if you wanted a more swishy kind of swirly look to it. But I like this pebbly uh, kind of look. So I'm going to lift this up. It will dry almost instantly. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, I've got my card base here, which I've pre-scored. It's just a half a piece, eight and a half by 11, cut widthwise. 
and then I have a matting piece of black to go on here. This is five and a quarter by four inches. And this is my tonic glue runner, which ran out just as I started that. So we can just go all the way around. They're really inexpensive, but super, super strong. One of my favorite new tools that I've got here. And I'm just gonna mat this on. I always open up my cards to mat because I find that it gives me a more even um, border because the card piece is flat and not trying to fold up on me. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick down our alcohol ink piece. Now just for safety, I'm going to pop it on here. It should be fine, but you never know. So um, I wouldn't advise you drying it with a heat tool just because the alcohol nature can be a little bit flammable, but you could try it if, as long as you're very careful with that. And again, I open it up and I'm going to stick that piece down. Now I've already pre-made my Zen garden. I embossed this with white embossing powder and I'm going to want to stick it along the bottom here. I'm just going to choose whereabouts I'm going to snip and I'm going to grab my favorite cutter bee snips and I'm going to make two little incisions where I'm going to make my major snip. So grab my big scissors so that I get the straightest line possible here. And I'm going to go straight through. And I mean, I could use a paper cutter for this, but I'm just going to do this by hand. And then I have this new vellum tape runner. So let me move this out of the way. And I absolutely love this. You cannot see it through the other side. It's called Plus. I'll link it in the description below. But when working with vellum, you can use a huge strip like that and you won't see it at all. Uh, major breakthrough definitely for working with vellum and this was done with Versamark and the uh, Ranger super fine white embossing powder and then finally I'm going to use my sentiment and I've got thanks that I've just done here in some Ranger archival black and cut it out with the coordinating die and of course I have my mega tape foam roll in my drawer and I'm going to snip some pieces and see what we can fit in here. Now you could use some fun foam underneath if you wanted to, but I have to say I tend to just grab a piece off this roll and cut it down accordingly. We should be able to fit a piece in here just to give it that extra bit of dimen dimension and snip a little bit in there. And then we can stick this down super fun super quick really easy card to do beautiful you can make thanks on there you could put celebration on there all sorts of fun things and it just shines through that zen garden absolutely beautifully and that little bit of vellum just gives you that definition in there as well so i hope you enjoyed today's card do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and i will see you again next saturday here at honeybee stamps happy stamping bye